everyone uh, rohit this side once again so today we'll be looking at how we can change uh, the most basic cards of any vft we have yashkawa ga700 with us right now we'll be looking into changing the control and terminal board of this vft so i'll first uh, start with opening the front cover i'll loosen up this screw we can remove the display by pressing down here and we can simply remove it from here now you'll see there is a spot over here and we can simply press it and your cover will come out or we can use a screw to press it here and, and the cover will come out like this so now this is the internal view of our drive this is the control board and this is the terminal board and this is for the led display and connectivity with the laptop for this drive so we have to let's say if this terminal board gets faulty or your control board gets faulty so we need to replace either of these and i am going to show you the simple procedure on how to do this we can first simply remove this and we'll use a driver to open it up and use this screw first then we can do go ahead with this one and it can simply be pulled down there's a simple joint over here so this will come out you can simply bring it uh, out and like will put it here we'll see how how we can replace the control board as well so you can remove this screw as well and this is the connector we have to open to get the control board out this connector connects the vfd with internal gd board and other cards downstream in the drive so we can just simply take it out so yeah this is This is stuck by this pin over here. Yeah, so you can simply do it like this. Now I'll take out this clip as well, and we'll simply put in. We there are clippers here holding this card in place. We'll put this down. Oh yeah, there's one more screw. So we'll open this screw again, and we will take out the card. So there are clippers over here. simply you can push it by your hand or you can use a driver to push them behind yeah, just don't apply too much pressure on this so that you don't break anything now if you'll see uh, we have taken both our control and terminal board out and uh, this is how it, it looks like this is your terminal board this is your control board and this is a display and this is the connector to connector display so once again i'll take you back to the vfd this is how your bare vfd will look like so yeah so we'll now go back into assembling the cards back in this vfd we'll first go with this connector you can simply connect the connector here this will be much easier so yeah connector is connected then we have to simply pu push it down and put the clippers back on So your card is well set you can connect the display connector here so yeah our control card is set now we have to screw this up this there's one screw left and if you are a big screw up in your life you'll be able to get this one right so yeah the screw is done and now we have to fit this in uh, in the slot this is the clip to hold the LED display. You just simply have to make sure that it slides well inside this screw and a clip over there. Now we have to put the terminal card back in. The terminal card has these holes for the main connector of the control card. So you just have to make sure that you place it right. And if you're placing it right, it's just simply it's all about pushing your card in. You don't have to apply much pressure. you just have to make sure that everything matches otherwise your card pins will get bent and that will that will uh, damage the card so now we just have to tighten this up 
this is another screw we have another screw here so this is all set you can put the uh, LED holder back in this is a new attachment in Yashikawa's latest GS700 generation this was not there in uh, previous generation VFDs so this is set well set and you can connect your connector here and you can just put the uh, cover back on so this is an old VFD so this is uh, that's why it is looking a bit shabby and dirty and having spots on it this is this is a faulty VFD so we won't be powering it up this is just for the demonstration so now you can tighten the screw up and they are all set so yeah this is it for today's video So yeah, this is it for today's video. Uh, this is how you can connect your change or uh, take out your control and terminal card. This is one of the most needed exercise as far as your star VFDs are connect, uh, concerned. Uh, you, you might be needing to do it if your cards go bad or you might even need it if you want to change the software of a particular card and want to replace the card with some other software card. You can simply do this. You can follow this exercise and do this. So thank you so much everyone.